Oh. That group in front of that bus? Yeah. Sure. Uh, I can't see it. I think uh, we have seen it come out. It's a little hard to see from that vantage point, but if you can see where that muni bus is, we did see a group of people come out, and you can see now the cameras running in that direction uh, over there. It's because the torch came out of that building, and then the muni bus uh, got in front of it, and I'm not sure exactly what their plan is at this point. They did not head towards the boat, because the boat is on the other side, and the wave runners are moving away, uh, but a big group came out. That muni bus looks like it's either positioning uh, maybe they're running in the opposite direction, but I did believe that I saw the torch in the torchbearer's hand, and uh, now it looks like we're just trying to figure out what their uh, strategy is here, what their their game plan is here. Everyone looks ready and lined up, uh, but we can't tell. There are two buses actually uh, parallel to each other, and uh, that is blocking our view. But as you can see, uh, that's where all the attention is, and uh, from that vantage point, it looks like they are getting ready to do something. So the torch, it appears, is out of the building. Uh, where it is going from here, at first it looked like they were going to get on the bus, uh, but now it looks like they were just uh, using the bus to position. Okay, we now see uh, vehicles moving out of the pier building, which gives us an indication uh, that they are getting ready uh, to get started here. I'm taking a look at the police officers. They all look like they are uh, getting the word that something's happening. It looks like they're headed in the opposite direction of where this run is going. If you can take a look at where they're going, uh, they're going away from where we are standing and away from that Third Street Bridge. Uh, it's unclear right now. There they go in the opposite direction. Well, you know, at this point, uh, they're probably changing the route. They had a lot of contingency plans. I can see that motorcade going across there. What I can't see is uh, whether or not there's a torchbearer in that group. I mean, maybe they're driving them to a different spot. That could be, you know, that they are just saying they have their lights on, and I can see them making it. Maybe the torchbearer, it appears, may have gotten into one of those cars and is now going to make their way in a car and in a vehicle and getting to a point where they can run. Remember, they had a lot of contingency plans. They said if they can't get through, they're going to do something else. They're going to keep doing and changing until they can get this torch run accomplished. So at this point, I'm peeking over to try to see if I can see where this thing is going. And I can see those cars uh, still. They made their way across the other bridge, again, avoiding all the crowds and all these protesters. And it looks like they may just be driving to a place where they can run. show you what's happening now. Can you guys come to us? Uh, we are seeing more movement back towards uh, where, if indeed that torch is now already gone, you can see the gentleman in green. They're also making their way now uh, over in that direction. It looks like uh, they are positioning themselves. Again, at this point, it's still unclear uh, 
what uh, the strategy is now. Uh, but again, we had that motorcade that left. We now have those gentlemen in the black and green jackets. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't seen them uh, walking around. I'm not exactly sure what their role in all of this is. But we do have, uh, again, it, it continuing. They haven't dispersed the crowd. They haven't said the torch is gone. You guys uh, can take off now. Everyone's still kind of waiting. Uh, there has been no clear... Uh, message to people about what is what is happening at this point but you can see that huge crowd of people they did come out of that same uh, police building and now they are walking in that same direction away from uh, where we're standing uh, you did see the uh, gentleman in uh, blue those are the uh, security of the torch of security as you will uh, and they are uh, making their way that way. So it does continue to develop, but at this point, uh, everyone's a little confused. You've got to remember that all these people who've been here since 4 in the morning now have not seen the torch. Only a small group of people got to see the podium uh, shot that you guys were looking at when they uh, brought the torch out and uh, brought it out there. A very small group of people compared to the hundreds and hundreds of people who were out there uh, we're able to uh, actually see that happen. So certainly there will be a lot of disappointed people, but, you know, again, security is a top concern, and getting this uh, torch relay accomplished is a top concern. Uh, we do see a gentleman standing on top of a bus holding a, a Chinese flag. Uh, that may have been one of the tour buses that brought all the hundreds and hundreds of people you see out here in. The tour buses seem to arrive and just drop off uh, busloads and busloads of people, uh, you know, every few minutes this morning. Um, but it looks like that's it. At this point, we're not sure where the torch is. Uh, we think it might have been left in that motorcade. And at this point, uh, not sure what's going to happen here at McCovey Cove.